Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time, as you can see by the little thing over here, <laughs> saying I have Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon in my deck, I'm going to be playing with Blue Eyes. And, uh, let's see, he won Rock, Paper, Scissors, so I'm going second, and he's open with a rat. That's just incredibly strong. But, this list that I'm playing is the, uh, the Kaiju Blue Eyes deck, the Blue Eyes Kaiju list that got top four at ARG Springfield last weekend. And so, uh, I just wanted to test it out. I wanted to actually, like, see how it functions in comparison to the Zodiac deck, um, I have literally changed nothing. I wanted to see how the deck ran for like my own personal game because I didn't get to see any of the feature matches uh, that the Blue Eyes player was playing with um, on the uh, on the ARG stream because I had some uh, some previous engagements that were uh, that were keeping me busy. But as long as this Pot of Desires gets me somewhere good, then I should be able to deal with this in some form or function, because I've got Soul Charge, so I can literally just bait the, dra the, uh, the uh, Dryden and then um, and then Soul Charge whatever I want back. Uh, now, I've got multiples of these, so I remember that this list explicitly does not play Cards of Consonants, uh, so, so that's a little bit of a ball ache, but ultimately, I think it's, it's going to be fine as is. Now, let's see, multiple back row, holy shit. All right, <laughs> well, I was expecting one, Maybe two, but three is kind of a stretch. Why do you... You just love to put that in the attack mode, don't you? Do I know you have a whip tail? You do! Alright, well still, don't agree with that. This alternative, which is perfectly fine. Uh, so I'm just going to start with Desires first and see where it gets me. And also, I'm going to go to my details and set this program's priority to high. There we go. I don't know why I just never do that uh, in the first place. Uh, but so let's see, what did I just banish? I've got, ah, I've still got the, uh, the ancient, uh, stone engraved, so, that's good. That means I can go Dragon Shrine here, and I can, uh, go Dragon Shrine for Dragon Spirit of White, which is still in my deck, and then use this to send a, uh, to send, I could send a White Stone, but there's no real purpose there, um, other than, like, just, bleh. Uh, so I'll send this stone, because I'm gonna be normal summoning... Sage, uh, and Sage can give me a search there. So what I'll do is I'll special summon this Blue Eyes, right, and uh, try to get the uh, the Dryden't dealt with. Um, now I don't know if I can play through all of these back row with. Uh, really, he's just not doing anything to it off the rip. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. Now, oh my God, nope, no, no, no. YouTube notifications go away, and do not. Okay, so oh. Ooh! Ah, it's a Fog Blade! That means he's playing Phantom Knights! Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm a liking where this is a going. Uh, but so what I'll do is I'll normal summon this, and I will use its effect, attempting to search. And then, depending on what happens here. Okay, so he's gonna do that, targeting the Sage, which I can't really argue with. I mean, it does prevent me from doing a synchro play before I soul charge here, which I was going to synchro into spirit and then bump it up into moonlight. Uh, but so from here, I guess we're just going to have to do this, um, which means I can make uh, spirit and I can make spirit. I can make double spirit. Yeah. Uh, nothing too insane. I say that, but I mean like, hey, I'm going to end my turn with a blue eyes also. So there's that. But, um, let's we'll summon these, and then, uh, this will activate. I'll banish this. Watch it be like Dimensional Barrier calling Synchro. Gonna make me sad. Um, no, it's a Twin Twister. Ah, that's arguably just as bad, because that's a dead card in this matchup for him. Um, so that makes me a little bit upset. Uh, but what I'm capable of doing is actually, I'm actually capable of taking one of these... Uh, and make it with, uh, with Cypher, and then going into Dark Matter. Um, so that's definitely something that might be what I do. Um, because I can make two Synchros here, uh, which is probably just the better route, but he can banish them with Whiptail, so I don't want to deal with that. So yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna leave these here just as resources to have, uh, but I'm gonna do this. Um, just so that I can have multiple uh, materials and things. So, unless this is another fog blade, okay, good, good shit. Um, so now I get to put the full armor on top of this. I get to activate this, detaching the emerald, and so now I've got one of his rats in circulation. So that's actually really important. 
and now I can make dark matter here um, on top of this full armor. In fact, I probably should have just left the full armor. Um, but I mean, yeah, I definitely should have just left the full armor. <laughs> um, and I actually just shouldn't have soul charged these two back now that I think about what my play string was. But I mean, hey, I've broken his board. I am in the commanding position. Um, I've got one of his rats under my dark matter. Um, so he can't do any significant rat play unless he gets it off of this first. Um, so it looks like, yeah, we're dealing with some PK uh, zoo nonsense. Now, whether or not there's Burning Abyss cards in this deck, I'm going to be incredibly surprised to see. Uh, Burning Abyss Zoo is a deck that I've been playing around with, but I don't play the Phantom Knights in it. I'm literally playing just a ton of Burning Abyss cards and the Zodiacs to constantly emerald back things like Beatrice, Seer, Graf, stuff like that. Um, so, okay, so he's doing this and destroying Cypher and, uh, and the Thingo. So he's going to be able to go straight into Dark Rebellion and Seize Dragon if that's what he wants to do. If he plays the rank up quick play, this is going to be very bad for me. <laughs> um, so there's there's a few things that could happen here. Because um, he could banish Silent Boots and search for uh, rank up magic the Phantom Knights of Launch. Or whatever it's, whatever it's TCG name ended up being. I just remember it's OCG name was the Phantom Knights of Launch. Um, okay, what is this? Uh, rank up magic launch. Okay, the Phantom Knights rank up magic launch. Um, so he does get to do this. This can only be activated in the main phase, but it's a quick play, which I find hilarious. Uh, but so this thing lets him detach, um, change his attack to zero, and make it this. So here's the question is why did you even bother? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It gains the 4K anyway. Um, holy shit! This thing is 7,000? What? No! Holy god damn! That's not what I was expecting at all! Oh! I thought he had fucked up by lowering my dude's attack. Um, so then it would only go up to 5k, but no, it gains the original attack. That's ridiculous! <laughs> Reminder to watch out for that one. Holy shit! Um, that was absolutely ridiculous. This thing is 7k and I'm just sitting here staring at it. For some reason, he is the only person I play who doesn't just go straight into the next game. And that's kind of agitating, but also kind of off-putting. I don't know why um, why this is the case. Because I'm literally just still sitting here. I'm just waiting for him to accept rematch. So I don't understand. Um, like, In fact, I'm going to go type to him in Discord. What's taking so long, man? Um, there we go. Um, damn it! Now I clicked first when I don't want to go first. I mean, I might want to go first. Um, this deck definitely just goes second all the time. But I mean, I guess I'll work with it. That's a Sage. Oh, this hand sucks dick. This was terrible. Why did... Ugh. I, I'm so used to clicking go first, and this is what it gets me. Uh, but at least I can do something here. So, at least I can do things with this. Um, not, not ideal, but I can do stuff with it. So I'll set the Twin Twister. Uh, that way I can Twin Twister things like Barrages or whatever, and I'll use it to get rid of the White Stone of Ancients, which will allow me to summon a Blue Eyes from my deck. I've got Maxi in hand, I've got Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, so I'm not too worried about anything going on too terribly crazy. Um, so, I mean, there is that. So, let's see here. Terror Top. Oh, shit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and max C here, uh, just because, um, oh, I see, it, he put in the Discord, he saves his replay, so he was giving it a name, I see, that's what took so long, uh, he likes, he's saving his replays so that he can study his matches after we play, that is an amazing improvement tool, I am so glad that he actually said that that's what he's doing, um, like, damn. Um, now the smart thing to do here is wait until he activates the barrage because you can only activate you can only use the effect once per turn uh, So this is pretty uh, pretty simple uh, But so we'll do this to do this that way I start my turn with the blue eyes uh, On the board rather than adding one to hand as you may see uh, But so oh my god, please don't just tell me you're gonna kill me if you're gonna do that exact same shit Well, no, you can't you can't kill me you can't kill me with the same method you did last game because I don't have a monster with attack points out. So that's going to be the key thing here. 
so let's see. He's going to be able to go into... He's gonna, this is going to be 25. This is going to be 16, attacking over this. Um, and then he's going to be able to go into Gagaga Samurai, if he if that's the play he's going for. If he has extra reg room for it. I'd assume that he does. Um, and then he's going to be able to search with, uh, with Broad Bull for Whip Tail. And then Whip Tail is going to make the Dryden 1200. So that would be 25, 31, 41, plus 1,200 uh, would be 53, plus the Gagura Samurai if he runs it. Um, so there would be that. Now, I can't interrupt the Kaiju Slumber now because I banished two Kaijus and then I drew one. Ah, Bujinsei Kagasushi. Is this game? Is this game still? That would be 5k, and then 12 and 16 would be 28. So it would be 200 points off game. Um, unless he can put another monster on the board. Um, and that's assuming that he has the whip tail. Did he actually add the whip tail? Um, I don't see him. I didn't see him add the whip tail. Um, so now he's got Thurblade. So he doesn't have whip tail. And has he normal summoned this turn? Yes, he did. He normal summoned the ancient cloak. So, hmm. I think that I'm going to survive this. And I think that I'm going to be able to. Well, that's the thing. I didn't draw, like, hardly... I did. I drew none of my recursion spells other than Silver's Cry, but I should be able to just clear his board. Uh, potentially. This is potentially. Um, but if I do, it'd probably be with something like... Mm, Galaxy Eyes. Um, like, Full Armor. And then, also, the Alternative Popping. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, but so this, yeah, that's 16, that's 25, that's 25. So this is... Um, this is, if, I, if my math is just not wrong, it's 200 points off game, um, if he does have the, uh, whip tail. Um, really? Destroy what? Destroy that. Really? What? I'm confused. Alright, <laughs> well then, I mean, the Dryden's one less card to deal with, so I mean, I guess. Um, I'll deal with that. Okay, so now I've got to deal with this fog blade. Um, which the Fog Blade actually could have brought back Ancient Cloak for game had he searched the, uh, the Whip Tail. I think that he actually just messed up. He should have searched Whip Tail off Broad Bull before he Kagetsuchi'd, uh, because he definitely had the opportunity to do so, unless I'm missing something. Or maybe he milled it off Dante. Um, I'm not sure how far back it is. Yeah, it looks like it was off Dante, maybe? I don't know. Um, I'll have to, I'd have to check in the edit, but... Uh, if he could have added Whiptail, then that's just a huge misplay, because then he could have done that. Um, so we'll do this, and this will allow me to summon card, and that card being a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, it's the only one left in my deck. So what's going to happen here is I've got Gospel of Revival. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, is there two Blue Eyes in here? Is that what's up? There's one blue eyes in here. Where's the other one? Um, oh, it's here. Okay, so it is engraved. So at least at least that's good. At least that means that I'll be able to uh, do some stuff. Uh, but so I'm gonna activate this. And I'm specifically going to discard the white stone of ancients because I'm going to have to add alternative to my hand, the one. <laughs> and uh, and so what I can do is I can uh, gamma seal over. What does this have under it? Ataki. Um, I can Gamma Seal, I can, uh, I can, not Gamma Seal, uh, Kaiju over just any of these. It's not really a big factor. Um, and, uh, Sage doesn't really have anything that he can do. Um, come on now. This is so hard to actually, like, orient. Uh, so it's making me kind of, kind of upset. Uh, so we'll discard the, uh, the Dragon Spirit of White. Draw these. That's another Kaiju. That's actually a Kaiju I can use for myself. So that's pretty important. Um, but so what I can do is I can now, uh, I can activate my Graveyard Ancient Stone. Oh, I already had one engraved. Um, so that's, that's actually really important. That's actually fairly important. <laughs> um, so this Blue Eyes is in my hand now, meaning that I can now, uh, I can now go and activate this to Special Summon it. Revealing this one Blue Eyes, it's so hard to find cards to click. If this was the strategy, then it worked out. It paid off in spades. Um, but so I'll activate this to destroy uh, the the Dante. It. I don't think there's anything engraved that it can add back. I haven't seen a Burning Abyss card yet, other than Dante. 
So I don't think it's going to be too big a factor. So Phantom Knight's Wings. Oh yeah, he did add this card. I remember now. Um, so it, first time it would be destroyed, it can't be destroyed. So that's fine. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into Galaxy Eyes Cipher Dragon. Um, yes. I'm going to go into Cipher. Because then I can go into Cipher. Um, monsters you can cannot attack your opponent directly except for this card, so I'm going to have to deal with that in some way, shape, or form. Uh, so we'll take the Kagetsuchi, at least that's what we're going to try to take. I expect fully to get fog bladed. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty self-exclamatory, pretty standard. And so from here, now I get to special this over his Kagetsuchi, and now I get to special summon my own. And now I get to... Uh, where is... I thought I had a Gospel of Revival, and I do. So now I get to activate Gospel of Revival, uh, bringing back this, um, specifically, because I want to get rid of this back row. Um, I can put full armor on top of this, it doesn't actually matter. Um, but I want this gone. I can put full armor on top of this. Uh, so this is Phantom Knight's Sword, but it doesn't matter, it's going to get banished. Um, and now I'm going to attack with this and I'm going to be able to summon the blue eyes out of my hand, so this is this is pretty important, pretty important stuff, um, and I'll be able to do that in the battle phase after I Silver's Cry this back, so it's going to be pretty cool. Um, <laughs> totally tubular. Uh -uh. Uh, but so the Dante can go away here, and so from here, what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to now go into Dark Matter, which I can attack two cards with, Right, um, I can go into Dark Matter on this, and I'm not going to be sending anything, very obviously. The Dark Matter here can uh, can attack these two monsters, so these two things are going to go away. Um, and then I'm going to be able to attack and deal with, uh, with his floaters in some way, shape, or form. And so what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to Alsei, and Alsei is going to spin a monster. So this... This is, uh, yeah, this gets to attack two monsters, make up to two attacks on monsters per turn. So, what we're going to do is we're going to call, um, uh, shit, what do I call? Soul Charge. I'm pretty sure my Soul Charge is gone, but if it is there, then rip. Um, uh, so excavate it and, uh, see what it is. It's Twin Twister. Do I want to use its effect? Yes, I do. And I'm going to detach this, and I'm going to use it to spin his, uh, his, uh, his slash my Gardala. Um, so this goes to the bottom of my deck. And so from here, now what I get access to is I get access into normal summoning something that has any form of attack points, uh, being this little guy. And I am just going to start going ham and going in. I'm gonna try at least. So we'll attack this. And then this will be able to attack a second monster should he summon one. Uh, so I'm not going to be too worried about it. Um, like, too terribly worried about it, I should say. And so with this, happen with this happening, what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to summon this. I'm going to use this to banish his Fog Blade. And so from here, this is very much in my favor. Because he has to bring back monsters. Um... Or else, like, he can't break my board. Uh, so this ha this can attack, and it'll suck up a, uh, this will suck up uh, some damage, possibly. Come on. Come on. Yes! Yes! You're fucking up! See, if you had just not done anything, I would definitely just, uh, I would definitely just not have game here. Uh, but I do have game here now because of you doing this. Um, so, no, I do not wish to replay the battle. I wish to activate this to summon this blue eyes from my hand. Right? And so, now, I get to attack this, and then I get to use the blue eyes to attack. But you should have another one of the traps in grave, right? You do. But at this point, that's fine for me, because that means that you're incredibly low on resources. And so that's exactly what I'm going for here. 
is low resource man. Um, so yeah, we'll attack here. So I don't think there was any way I could have made this game um, specifically, but this is just super fine for me because now I get to synchro these into a blue eyes spirit dragon. Um, and I'm going to negate that. No, I don't care. I don't care if he knows what the three cards in my deck are, one of them being a kaiju. Um, and so from here, I can set this. I can... I honestly don't care. I don't care. I'm just going to discard these cards. Set. Uh, send, send. <laughs> oh. Um, send, send, and uh, send. Um, and now, because I've got this, right... Because I've got this here, unless I get board wiped, I'm going to be able to tag it into uh, Moonlight Rose, meaning it's a disruption card, meaning that I've just got game. I can kill him. He's got to clear this board of huge fucking things, all while I have access to a Moonlight Rose, because I'm not going to let that goddamn thing happen again. I'm not going to let it happen again. I refuse. <laughs> um, oh, so just set a card and pass. All right, so what I'll just be able to do is I'll be able to activate this now, go into Spirit, and, or Azure Eyes, rather, and now Azure Eyes will just start bringing back cards, and this this game is sewn up in my favor handily. Oh, really? All right, well, Return of the Dragon Lords. Um, all right, and uh, so now this lets me just bring back something in the form of the Blue Eyes, and now it's just, it's just game. Yeah, uh, because I can just attack over, attack over this, and then attack directly with the Dark Matter, or literally anything um, that exists, because I knew what this was. Um, it's the, it's, it was very obvious that it's the Thoroughblade, <laughs> um, because that was the card that he searched on the previous turn. So, there is that, and so even though I messed up and clicked to go first and almost got fucked by it, I didn't! Hooray! Alright. Okay, so now, after he saves his replay and gives it a name, um, there we go, that was actually significantly fast. Um, now I get to go second, which is actually what I want to do, and I've got a kaiju for that. Meaning that if this Pot of Desires plus my draw for turn gets me literally any sort of anywhere, I'm going to be able to do some Soul Charge play shenanigans after literally having access to a double Return of the Dragon Lords. That's going to be really, really potent, but it all requires me getting there. Um, so that's, that's the thing that we're going to be looking for is that I've got three draws to make my hand absolutely insane. Let's see if we get there. Uh, but so, Bullhorn here coming out to probably search Whip Tail after he summons Rats. Very, very standard, very key, very premium, very, very good. The Zodiac engine is very versatile and very splashable because of how small it is. Uh, it takes up, like, about... 30 to 40 percent of your I guess it would be like 40 percent takes up like seven cards um, takes up like 45 percent of your extra deck um, but I mean it's worth it because it means that your engine for the deck that you're playing as well as the Zodiac engine itself is virtually limitless in terms of card pool because it's double emerald that means that in theory if you're resolving it every game every turn then your resource pool is infinite why do you keep summoning Dryden in attack mode I don't quite understand the reasoning behind this. Are you trying to get me with like the saucy, um, the saucy like equip double whip tail onto it, even though all of my things are 3k? Emptiness here. Well, damned if you do, <laughs> and damned if you don't. <laughs> I got just so lucky. Oh no. Oh. No! Oh no! Oh my! That was so lucky! I thought I was just gonna lose! <laughs> and those were two super real cards! Oh no, I would feel bad. I would be so upset right now if I were if I were my opponent. So now I'm gonna gamma seal over this. Now I get to special this level 8 kaiju. <laughs> and now I get to Gospel of Revival for the Blue Eyes. Oh dear. Um, and so now I'm going to get to Cypher Dragon, take his Emerald, and I'm going to get to make full armor, pop the Gamma Seal, 
and then I'm gonna be able to make dark matter, dump cards, and then I'm gonna be able to soul charge. <laughs> what a fucking game! All right. What a fucking game, what a fucking life. All right, that was like the perfect cards I could have drawn. <laughs> that was so ridiculous. All right, well, we'll send that. We'll send uh, this stone, and we'll send a uh, an alternative so that I can add it back off of, uh, off of said stone. Um, so this white stone will get me the blue eyes search, and then... I'll be able to use Banish the Ancient Stone to add Alternative back to my hand next turn. Oh, this is a little unfair. Um, just a tad. Um, so I could make these into Titanic Galaxy. I can bring back these three, make these into Titanic Galaxy. Um, but then I wouldn't be able to return to the Dragon Lords, I think. Well, no, I would. I would be able to go with these three. Yeah, these three. And I'm going to Synchro into Spirit and then make a bring uh, the blue eyes back with Return of the Dragon Lord to make Titanic Galaxy. Um, so, like, this is just this is just fucking bonkers. Um, so I'm, I'm clear of board wipes. I'm clear of everything. What a life! Alright. So what we'll do is we'll do this and then we will make Titanic Galaxy. <laughs> I can't kill him this turn because I soul charged, but holy shit! <laughs> Fuck me, I drew the Twin Twister. What a champion. Man, if I draw cards like that, I'm winning YCS Atlanta. Just on demand. It's like, damn it, emptiness. I can't out this. I need an out. Draw Twin Twister. <laughs> and it was perfect because it was literally the only card that I had in my hand that put Blue Eyes in my graveyard so that I could start summoning it off of my Return of the Dragon Lords. That was so ridiculous. That entire... I want you guys to understand how ridiculous that turn was and exactly why I'm as hype as I am right now. That was unnecessary. That was so insane. You don't have any idea. Oh. Viper, yeah, sure. Man, you got it. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what you do to out every single one of these cards. Yeah, Tiger. Um, one of your rats is still under my dark matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a problem for you. You need to normal summon a card, but you've already normal summoned. You can only summon. <laughs> you don't have a rat in your graveyard. <laughs> My man, this tiger is doing shit. Oh no. I gave him the okie doke. This was bad for you. This was so bad. Okay, this this deck is so cool. That entire turn was just absolutely bonkers. <laughs> yeah, you better make that card fucking now. Um, oh my god. Oh Jesus. This I already couldn't get board wiped because I have double Return of the Dragon Lords in Grave. And so this Dryden literally means nothing. The only card that means anything is the Viper that's underneath it. Um, and like I can just make him get rid of my titanic galaxy um so like it's it's not even a factor um no yes gonna we're gonna banish this card and just prevent the destruction so and now the whip tail's not under it anymore man you gotta learn to stop detaching that fucking card that is like the card that you just never detach you got us you've got to learn to stop <laughs> you you always keep that card under anything because it turns it into DD Warrior Lady. Like, you gotta learn you gotta learn to not. <laughs> like that's that's pretty important. And I'm surprised that you keep doing that. So like that that needs to what the fuck? Resolve effect. Oh. It's you. Why is that prompt all the way over there? <laughs> Why? I'm so confused. Hey look, it's the other twin twister! <laughs> May! Alright. Well, nothing can die. Uh, so... Attack mode? And I guess we'll just use that at some point, but... Yeah, literally nothing can die. So I guess I'll just attack with this. That way, if he does have another whip tail in his hand, 
I'd be able to chain the uh, the the dragon spirit to summon the blue eyes, and then the attack wouldn't resolve. Um, but I don't even know why I would do that. I think I would, I would seriously just let the dragon spirit of white take the take the hit um, because I have another one. I think maybe I don't know. I don't even think it matters though at this point because I've got the twin twister, so like it doesn't matter. Uh, but so yeah, he doesn't have access to any phantom knights, so he can't stop this from happening. <laughs> Um, so that's that's the that's the damned if you do damned if you don't uh, part of this, and uh, yeah. So this this dark matter still has his uh, his rat peer under it, so he literally cannot make any plays. <laughs> Fuck me! Oh my god, that was a weird ass game three. That was broken. That was insane. That was ridiculous. I don't even understand how that one came to be, but hell. I will take it. That was a super hype ass game through. I have not gotten that hype on a game of Yu-Gi-Oh in a long time. I thought I was gonna lose. Standby phase emptiness. Got me. Nah, man. Desires into Twin Twister. Got you. Joke's on you, fam. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you like this video in the comments down below, and definitely like the video if you did like the video. Showing thumbs up really shows support and all that sort of nonsense. But other than that, if you want to support me directly, you can definitely check out the links in the description to my Patreon page, as well as the link on the video at some point. If you want to you know, support me directly and help make future things possible, as well as enter a monthly giveaway, this month I'm going to be giving away a box of Raging Tempest, as well as, if things go well enough, a box of Fusion and Forces alongside that. So if you want to get you know, involved with that, then definitely go check out the Patreon page and start checking out reward tiers. Also, if you want to get on Discord and talk with me on a daily basis, and also be one of the people I play for these videos, because that is where Canadian Courage came from, then definitely you want to check out a reward tier for that as well. But other than that, let me know what you guys think again in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Man, that was insane. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Thanks for your time, as usual. Take care, guys. I will see you in the next video. Holy hell.